I had one dude, bread was so bad, I yelled at him. I just said, hey! And this was on the phone, so you know that was bad. Have you ever felt the pain of betrayal? Well, Home Music Agency presents Delindra Tarsavina with her freshman album, Life Is Not Gone, along with her book, Diary of a Hurt and Confused Wife, with co-writer Keasia Cheney, teeping with personal life stories, biblical references, devotionals, and prayers. This book is a powerful tool in the home of any woman who has been through a rough marriage. These projects are available now online. Today's episode, The God Order. I'm Aaron Prince. And we are on Faith Talk. Thank you for joining another episode of Faith Talk where we focus on faith, family, and finances. Three very good topics. Topics that we live by. That's all a part of the family journey. As you're building a family, as you're walking that journey out with your wife, faith, Family and finances is a big part of it. It's a majority part of it. That is, because in order to advance the kingdom and to grow and to live this victorious, abundant life, we're going to have to have all three in order. And that's what we talked about on our last show. We talked about the divine order of God. And those things, having those things in order, are vital and important to sustaining a fruitful, mm -hmm. long mm -hmm. relationship. Uh, and it's just important. I mean, everything you do in this three-dimensional world, everything you do in this world, mm -hmm. you know, you have to have money. You have to have finances. And you need to have your finances in order. Uh, and you need to be not only having them in order, but also Believe in God and asking God to give you the wisdom and direction and guidance to help you with with managing those finances mm -hmm. and how to increase those finances mm -hmm. because prosperity is a part of what you receive when you receive Christ Jesus. It's mm -hmm. all a part of what grace is made available for God's children, God's saints, God's church, uh, which is us, the people, mm -hmm. that have received Christ. Right. So... Salvation is a package, and if you study the word salvation in the Greek, it actually has the meaning of healing, it has deliverance, it has salvation, and it has prosperity. So there's really no such thing as, oh, the prosperity message. No, it is actually the salvation marriage. God wants us to be prosperous, and he will give us the power to get wealth. And as we um, enter into his kingdom, in the order that he has established for us in the earth and biblical establishment, you know, we have uncertain riches in Christ Jesus. Amen. I mean, you said it right. I mean, prosperity is a part of the gospel. It's part right. of salvation. So, it's a part of the word. Right. And we have unsearchable riches in Christ Jesus. The world actually give us uncertain riches you know we don't know if when we gonna get this and how we gonna get this and if it's going to be for a certain period of time and paycheck to paycheck and um you know hustle to bustle you know um like you said peter to paul you know robbing peter to pay paul that's the world system here on faith talk we actually talk about god's system and there's an abundance amount of provision and resources for your family. There is. And there's many ways to there's there's many ways that God is going to lead you, direct you, and guide you to that. And so you have to have him for the wisdom mm -hmm. and the guidance and the direction. 
and hopefully you have received the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues because that's the power that a Christian needs in order to get to the things that God has available, has made, has made available. It's already been made. He ain't making them available now because they've already been made available. Mm -hmm. They're there. You may not have them. You may not have access to them. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean they're not there. They're there. You just need to get to them. You need to access them. And it's the wisdom of God. You being led or the husband and the wife being led by the Holy Spirit that's going to get them to what God has available for them. And they got to do it by faith. They, do, they have to do it by faith and they have to be in order. You know, we talked about order on our last show. And, you know, the Holy Spirit literally came on us in that setting. And as we were reading the scripture, he spoke order. And he showed us the order of God. And so, like, if you want your finances to flow, if you want to be blessed in your finances, you have, you, you're you going to have to get in order. You're going to have to be in order. And you're going to have to line up your family in God. Right. And when being in order is walking by faith. Yes. The just shall live, live by, by faith. faith. Walk by faith and, and not, not by, by sight. sight. That's just not a cliche to be said because right. it's in the word, it's a scripture. And sometimes people take the word and use them as cliches. Yes. As something just to say. You know, no. The word is living and it's powerful. powerful. And you need to be living by the word of God. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the word of God is God's will, his commandments. Is, and, and what does Jesus tell us? Jesus tells us that those that do my commandments, whatever you ask mm -hmm. me, whatever you ask the Father, what well, is going to be done, done for, you. for you. And the Word is God's will. Yes, and so I'm excited to know that God is, you know, releasing and unfolding and manifolding His will to us. You mm -hmm. know, when it comes to faith, family, and finances, you know, the financial side is, it's vital. You know, You, the Bible says that money um, answers all things, you know. And money, wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense, too. Yes. When you have money, you can combat a lot of things that are trying to take place and hinder what God is, you know, having you to do it. So you need finances. You need money um, to advance his kingdom. Everything costs, you know. And so that's why we're going to be shedding more light. We're going to be giving more wisdom, more principle mm -hmm. on finances, kingdom finances, you know, because at the end of the night, um, God's giving you 90% to steward. You feel what I'm saying? The 10% is our hard condition of giving him back what he's already given us, you know, and depositing it into a local storehouse. We'll be talking about the power of the tie too, and the power of giving in upcoming seasons, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Because there's benefits to tithing, you know? Right. You know, people oh, we know. have been teaching on, you know, about how you don't have to tithe, right. and which is true, you know, because of the disposition that we live under. Mm -hmm. But it's a benefit to you to tithe. Yes, you know, it's, it's a benefit, and you should want to because right. if God has done all these great things for mm -hmm. you, as you say it, as people stand up and give their testimony, God has done this. And why wouldn't you want to give to Him? Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you want to give that the least, mm -hmm. the least of things, which is money, right. ten percent? Mm -hmm. Why would you not want to do that? You should want to do that. I mean, it's, you you got to do that. Be, as a believer, as a true Christian, as a spirit-filled child of God, there's no other way. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I, I have been through multiple of teachings. We have been through multiple of teachings on tithing and on giving and on offerings and on sowing. And it is your financial security in a place where you can't see. That's why he tells us the just shall live by faith and that we shall walk by faith and not by sight. Because when you are being obedient to giving the tithe, mm -hmm. um, 
you can see whatever you want in the natural. But in the heaven, the Lord of hosts got you a storehouse where when you need that money, when you need that provision, when you need that resource, when you need that increase, when you need that ram in the bush, he's going to open up the window of heaven because your depository in heaven is already stored up, accumulating, waiting for your next withdrawal, you know, your next release. And that's how I see it. Well, and and that's that is that is a way in which to do things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, there's many ways. Right. But is there is what is the best way? Yes. Okay, and the best way is to follow God's plan. Yes. Right? His principles. He has principles and tithing is a principle, giving is a principle. Yes. Uh tithing falls under giving. Mm -hmm. Uh they're all principles mm -hmm. and the word tells you, you give and it'll be given back to you. You give, and it'll be given back to you. Yes. You give, and, and it will be given, given back, back to you. you. And it's, it's going to come, come in many ways. Right, and, and it's going to come more. Because it says press down. And it's going to come more, like you just said, press down, shaking together. And it's right going to come over. back in many different ways. I mean, mm -hmm. how it comes back to me and you may not be the way it comes back to you. Right. And you just got to receive it. You got to be open to receive it and know that you know this is God giving it to you and we've been through uh <laughs> from faith to faith and glory to glory we we married together as tithers we married together as givers you know we was both givers and tithers on the fences that we stood on before we came together and when we came together you know tithing was never uh, issue with us. I remember um, I wrote in my my new book that's coming out. It's the seven power steps to healing deliverance and I wrote on the ties and I talked about in one of the chapters how when we first got married we bought each other or you know we did it together but we bought um, the Ford Explorer mm -hmm. and that was our first gift that we had got for one another together in the marriage and we have moved and um you know when we moved to the next state it seemed like every demon from asia and china was just waiting for us you know at the border of california and we just start having um financial uh attacks from every angle that's because we were new um, walking together as the power of one. We were newlyweds. We moved to a, a state and, you know, everything was foreign to us, you know, and we we got attacked in our finances. And um, I remember my husband wasn't, um, he had got a contract to work a, a job and basically we didn't find out until we moved there that it was stipend. Right. Right. It's got paid at the end of the contract. Yeah, the end of the contract. So you're gonna work that whole season and then you're gonna get a check at the end of the contract. Okay. And now that I'm looking at it, you know, that's God because a lot of times we depend on paycheck to paycheck. We know when our next uh 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 direct deposit is gonna come. We the, know the, system. The, comfortable, the comfortability of 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 not depending on God per se. Yeah. You, you understand what I'm saying? Because if you're walking by faith, then you're not depending on that check. You're not yes. depending on that check that's gonna come for you're a while. Trusting in him. You're trusting in and him. And you believing in so, him as your source and that's something that was, you know, new to me is that, oh, because I'm trusting in you because we're married now. So I'm thinking my husband is, you know, I, that's who I look to. But I kept looking to him and we kept having failures when I needed to be looking to God because he was actually the one providing and grooming us for this particular success. Right. Anyhow, um, our the car note was due and the cardinal was $300 and our tithe was $300. You remember that? Yeah. And we were under a lot of pressure. We needed that car. That's kind of like all we had at that time, you know, to stay mobile in big old California. And so we couldn't lose the car, but we had to pay our tithe. And um, I remember you gave me the money. We wanted to pay, we wanted to pay our tithes, but I ended up paying the card note. 
and all hell broke loose. I mean, greater. They even repossessed the truck. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? Um, just all kinds of things start happening. And so when we came out of that, you know, I realized through the through the understanding of the Holy Spirit, oh, we were supposed to give that, that 300 to the tithe. You know, I should have never paid that system. God had a better plan. You know, he could have got us out of this. And so that was... And, and and that's not suggesting that a person should give the rent, rent money. money or, no, mm -mm. that was our saying, situation. Right. What you're saying is that God was trying to tell us He had something else. Yes. Go ahead and give it because He got. So you got to listen. Basically, what you're saying is you got to listen to the Spirit of the Lord. Yes. God. Now, if the Spirit of the Lord tells you that, then obviously you need to listen to God. Trumps everything. Yes. God trumps everything. I love my wife, but God trumps my wife. Right. The same thing for her. God trumps me. And you have to be that way. And so that way you can hear from the Lord, hear mm -hmm. from the Holy Spirit when he's saying, okay, yeah, it's okay. Or, no, no, don't. Go ahead and pay your rent. Mm -hmm. We got another way to do this. Or right. whatever, however, however the Spirit of the Lord leads you and guides you. Yeah, see, I mean, and that was the, that was the last and the only time that we missed the tide, you know, per se. And we per se and I'm saying that's the last time that we missed the tide and now we know exactly what God is doing with us in our finances and right. so we know that you know we give our tide you know off the top right. of everything and, and this is what we want to do right oh yeah our it's heart not, is prepared for that we're not doing it out of some thing that we're going to think we're going to get cursed yes. we're not going to get cursed I mean, right because God is all about motive. Uh -huh. Motive is very important to Him. Right. Uh, and that's His order. Okay. And if your motive is off, you can give all the tithes you want. You still don't get messed up. Because yes. your motive is not right. Right. Your motive has to be right. Your motive can't be a grudgingly motive. It got the word is telling you. You can't be grudgingly. You can't be of uh, necessity. Of necessity. Mm -hmm. It can't be that. That cannot be your motive. Right. If that's your motive. That's the wrong motive, mm -hmm. and things are not going to fare well for you. You have to have the motive of love, because mm -hmm. if you've been saved, you receive Christ, guess what? The Holy Spirit has poured, poured the love of God on the inside of you. So it's inside of you. You have to tap into that and let that be your motive for all that you do when it comes to the things of God. When it comes to your spouse, mm -hmm. you've got to let love be, the, be motivator. the motivator. Yes, love is the motivator. Faith is the activator. And God searches the intent of our hearts. So he looks at the motive of our heart, you know. The motive of what we're doing on the outside needs to line up with the motive of what's going on on the inside of our heart. At the end of the story, we had one of your closest friends out the blue call you. And, and and say, hey, I want to give you a Ford Explorer. Remember that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, just, you know, stories like that, that we have watched the power of um, to come together and understand and trust and believe. You know, Father God, for our finances, believe Him in our finances. He is our source. You know, He is our provider. You know, we may have all the jobs, all the contracts, all the, you know, business, all the things going on, but we don't look to th to those systems. We don't look to those things as our provider. No, because those things are just the the vehicle. Yeah. God, because God has to have a vehicle because we live in this three dimensional world. Right. So God is not dropping money out, out the sky. As yes. My, as our spiritual dad always said. You know, always uses the reference of how he's put buckets around the city and he goes back to check and there's no money in the bucket. So, <laughs> God is not dropping money out of the sky. Yeah, because he would be considered works. a fraud. You exactly. know, if he's so, dropping money out the sky. So, he has to have a vehicle. He has to have jobs, a vehicle. Jobs, businesses. Those are your vehicle people. Yes. Those are vehicles in which God can get the finances to you. Yes. And so that leads me back to scripture because, you know, we said, let the word be your guiding post, you know. So we have scripture to 
back up what we're saying and we're actually talking about the power of two in agreement that's still our outline for this particular episode and then driving in that vehicle is the order of God you know the kingdom of God has an order and in the earth realm because we are his image we are his people we have an order that he has established for us to operate in so that heaven and earth's um, conversation is on one accord. You feel what I'm saying? As you're moving, heaven is moving right along the side of the family and dispersing. You said we in a disposition, disposition which is earth, and it, the the dispensation of heaven is providing, providing as we continue to use faith and move forward in the order of God. So I came from 1 Corinthians 11 and we have started off from verse 1 and I was going to go down to 16 um, and I'm just going to keep reading until I feel the Holy Spirit tell us to stop. But it says, now I praise you brethren that you remember me in all things and keep the traditions just as I delivered them to you. But I want you to know that the head of every man is Christ. Mm -hmm. And the head of woman is man. Mm -hmm. And the head of Christ is God. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So the Godhead. The Godhead. Mm -hmm. And that's just all again all about God's order in which he, he, he does things. Uh, and he puts it in that way, mm -hmm. so that way he can keep he keep his system in order. And God is is a, is a God of a water, and he, yes. he's systematic in the way he does things. He's not yes. not legalistic, right. systematic. Systematic. Okay, it means he has order. Yes. And so that's why I say walking by faith. You have to walk by faith if you're a Christian. That's what you have. That's your primary mode of operation. Yes. Is by faith. Yes. That's your primary mode, operation. Yes, you're under grace. Grace is over you. You're under that disposition. You need to understand grace. You need to understand love. You need to understand all those things. But faith is how we should move. We move by faith. So that we can access all what grace has made available. Yes. So we can walk in the motive of love. So that everything that we do mm -hmm. would always be about a motive of love. Yes, so ladies most definitely love your husbands, you know, and husbands love your wife as Christ loved the church so that that order of God could be prevalent, it could be relevant, it could be powerful in your marriage. And women, you know, you married this man, so submit to him, especially if you know that both parties are equally yoked and in Christ Jesus. Submit to that husband because when you do not, uh, respect the fact that the husband is the head, then that brings all kinds of hell, chaos into your house, into your family, into your body. You know, um, there's a lot of attacks that you can subject yourself to if that order of God is not established in your home. Absolutely. And I really believe that that's how God sees the family. Yes. Is through the man. That's the reason I believe that that's the reason he he put it that way. Mm -hmm. You know, Christ is God is the head of Christ. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Christ is how God sees all the rest of us. Yeah. He, he looks at Christ. He looks to his right hand, which is where Christ is seated right now, mm -hmm. where he's physically at. He looks at Christ and he sees everyone who has accepted Christ. Mm -hmm. And then I think that after that, he looks through Christ, and if a man or woman is married. I believe he looks at the man, mm -hmm. and that's how he's able to see the wife and those children. Mm -hmm. Okay, That's why the man needs to make sure that he is in order, mm -hmm. that he is following God, that he yes. is following the word, that he's walking by faith and not by sight, because everything hinges on him. Yes. Just think about Adam and Eve. Now, God came to Adam. Why yes. did he come to Eve? Because it was Eve who was the one that made the decision to what? To eat. To eat. And then she gave it to her. Yes, Adam did too. But she initiated that thing. Mm -hmm. It was her that the serpent came to. Mm -hmm. Why didn't he go to the man? He came to the woman. Mm -hmm. 
And then God, in turn, came back and said, Adam, where are you? Mm -hmm. He didn't say Eve, where are you? Mm -hmm. Why? Because he gave it to that man, just like right. he has given man to be the head. Now, that doesn't mean that the woman is not equal, because the woman is equal. Mm -hmm. doesn't mean that God won't work through the woman, because he will. Mm -hmm. Well, he will. It doesn't mean that the man shouldn't listen to the woman. Mm -hmm. That's not what that means. Mm -hmm. Okay, so don't take that as, you know, now you think you're some kind of dictator over your wife, and that's mm -hmm. not the truth. That's not God. Okay, y'all are equal. Y'all are one. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's just the way in which God does things, and he has a reason why. Mm -hmm. We don't know full and totality why he does this. One day we will. Mm -hmm. He'll tell us why he did it that way. But I really believe that's how he looks and sees things when he's looking at the entirety of things. And he that's the truth. And husbands, um, stop blaming your wife. <laughs> yeah. You know, stop blaming her because you have to take responsibility of knowing that Christ is your head. And so Absolutely. you need to follow the commandments of God and you need to communicate that to the wife. That's why we have established this um, show called Faith Talk because we want to talk in the faith. You should be talking to your uh, spouse and you should be communicating on the things of God so we both can understand the plan of God. And the things of the relationship and, and, and all that kind of stuff. And exactly what you just said. Because and men have to recognize that the woman is equal with them and so God has given them assignments, giving them talents, giving them purpose. And so sometimes there is going to be times when God may speak through that woman. Mm -hmm. Well, we want to thank you guys for joining us on this topic on Faith Talk. We want you guys to continue to join in. And I'm Lady C. Prince. And I'm Darren Prince. And we'll see you next time. Advertise with us on faithnettv.com. Exclusively at The Lash Depot, featuring Minkzilla's The Bridal Collection, 3D Designer Mink Lashes. You can get yours now at www.thelashdepot.online. My name is Kiesa Chady. You want to eat healthy but still eat snacks? Want to take vitamins but doesn't know what's in them? Want to wear makeup but you always break out afterwards? Check out my website. All natural products.